Hello YouTube gamers! Today I'll be giving you a full review on the amusing and fun game Dead Pixels. Dead Pixels is a 2D side-scrolling indie game created by CSR Studios. It was released on December 7th of 2012, making this game not very old as of 2013. Dead Pixels has three different game modes to choose from. Dead Pixels, The Solution, and The Last Stand. The story behind the game mode Dead Pixels is that in New York City, there was a toxic waste spill causing the dead to awaken. You must play as a survivor, making your way across the city, and you encounter many hordes of zombies. Like many zombie games, there are different types of zombies. From your classic zombie, to zombies that spit toxic waste. Along your way, you may purchase weapons at shops from coins you collect from zombies. You may also loot many different houses. In the solution, you have been assigned by a high-ranking official to stop the zombie epidemic. You get to choose from a selection of characters, all from famous apocalypse movies or games. Each character has his or her own special traits that may help them along the way. You can also purchase things from vendors and loot houses in this game mode as well. The Last Stand is my personal favorite game mode, where you must survive through various waves of zombies. You can either try Time Attack with only 6 waves of zombies, or Survival with infinite number of waves. In this game mode, you get 10 seconds between each wave to purchase weapons at the vendor shop. You can also purchase upgrades or grenades. With the amount of money you collect and the weapons you have, you can be become very overpowered very quickly. In this game, you can either play single player or local co-op with an Xbox 360 controller. The lack of online play can be a little frustrating, but there is plenty to do without multiplayer. One flaw I found in this game is the lack of ammo found in game modes Dead Pixels and The Solution. There is a melee, but does very little damage and can be very risky. If they added more ammo, this may make the game less frustrating on challenging difficulties. All in all, this game is very entertaining and deserves the community support. Besides the lack of ammo and online play, for $5, this game is definitely worth it. I would personally give this a rating of 8 out of 10, and confidently be able to say that you should go try this game out. Thank you for watching this review. More coming soon to Seltzer Game. Peace.